So, good news, it turns out I did a stupid, and we actually can reach the Castellia Gardens. I'm just an idiot. So, I, I completely misread it on Bulbapedia. Uh, it was talking about, I think during the spring and uh, winter, you can reach Castellia's back alley when the, the streets are flooded. And I misread that as thinking during the, the spring and winter, you can reach the back alley. During the summer and autumn, you can reach Castellia Gardens. And I somehow also walked right by this staircase apparently 50 times because it's pretty much right near the entrance. So... I'm just incredibly stupid, and today we're going to be catching- Oh, there's a shaking grass right there. Do we want to catch an Autono? I don't think we do. Autono, I think, has a high cat- a pretty low catch rate. So, I'm going to ignore that Autono for now, which just goes against everything I believe in, because I'm going to be desperately begging for Autono grasses later on when I'm, I'm doing my training. But I thought, you know, we might as well go catch the Pokemon before we go in and uh, do all the training, because we could run into something exciting. Um... That's possible. I'm hoping our little stud muffin here... No, we're, we should be paralyzing you. That's incorrect. I'm hoping our little stud muffin doesn't kill this thing. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to go for Rage this time because it should... Ooh, Mega Drain. Should do a little less, but I'm not too sure I'm concerned about the... Alright, yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to tackle you if you're going to keep Mega Draining me. Oh, and you're going for growth. Oh, this is, this is just getting slightly scary. Am I... Hmm, that's, that's heartbreaking. You know what? Maybe we should just throw some Pokeballs at you. You're a Cottony. How hard can you really be to catch? Apparently Darumaka at full health is like a 24% chance to catch, so I'm just incredibly unlucky. Another critical capture? What? <laughs> that's... Why? No, I, I, I swear I didn't even know critical captures were a thing until like a few years ago. Now we've gotten two of them already. In like our past three captures. What is what what determines the chance of a critical catch? I actually have no idea if it's just uh every time you throw a Pokeball, it if it gets bigger the more you catch Pokemon. I don't know. I think it does it improve the more Pokemon you have in the box? That might be it, because we have quite a few eggs. In fact, speaking of eggs, let's go hatch one. Alright friends, we got our Wheel of Legacy, Wheel of Memories, son of a bitch, I already messed it up. Here with us, let's see what box we're going to be going to. It's going to be box number 6, alright, Pokemon number 18. Let's go see where that is, let's take. Let's not forget to take off our wheel. First we got to get our cottony actually, so. Oh gosh, I changed the weird, okay, I, I think I... I keep changing the mouse, and I don't know what's happening there. Level 15, we're going to box 6, Pokemon 18? I believe that's right there. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh gosh. I don't... I don't know which egg this was. Oh. Oh, I didn't think that through. Um, uh, alright, well, I guess we're just picking a random egg then, because I fucked up. Um, I think it was... Uh... I could check the footage, but that's no fun. I, th I think it was... I think it was here. Because this is 24, I think we did 20... Yeah, you know what, we're going with 22. I guess. <laughs> why, why not? And who's going to the box? Uh, I guess... Tauros is the, like, least variety Pokemon we have. I should probably move you over to a, a good spot so I don't think you're a dumb ticket as well. I can't believe I messed that up. I feel, oh, embarrassed that I did that. I am, I am sorry to my cottony for you have been embarrassed. <laughs> you are not what you should be, but it's okay. Let's go ahead and hatch, I guess, what maybe was your destiny. I don't know. Either way, this is the Pokemon you are now, and it's... A Rosalia. Okay, okay. Roserade is a fantastic Pokemon. I think we can get the Eviolite here in Castelia City. In which case, Roselia is even cooler. But in the meantime, let's take a look at its legacy. So we've actually had more than I thought we had. I thought it was just going to be Eric and Erica from my past two series. But all the way back in the Spirit Gold Nuzlocke, we actually had Chlorophyll. 
the Roselia slash Roserade. Moving on to the, both the Scoreboard Hall of Fame and the Renegade Platinum Nuzlocke, we had Eric, uh, who I thought was Erica in one of those. No, I think it was, it was a boy, and I named it Eric as a playoff Erica. Huh, that's weird. Uh, for a Sky Nuzlocke, we had Jasper. And finally, in the Platinum Egg Lock, we had La Roserade. So, out of all those nicknames, I we just recently had Eric on the team. I'm actually going to go with Jasper, uh, is from the Flora Sky Nuzlocke. It's not one of those names that I necessarily remember, but we just had Eric not that long ago. So, uh, Eric, being from two series, a Hall of Fame member, deserves its vacation. Although, if when we eventually get Fiddy on, obviously that thing's going to be terror. And, yeah, I guess it's time to finally go do some grinding. I wanted to do this earlier, but I had to catch a Pokemon, and it wasn't too horrible. I'm also going to see if I can pick up the Eviolite, and I'll probably get the EXP share as well. So, when we talk again, we'll be taking on the third gym here in Castellia City. And, in fact, that's going to be right... That's going to be really embarrassing if I don't go now. In fact, if I'm including this part in, that clearly means I forgot to do that. So I don't want to get, like, accidentally, like, oh, oh gosh, I don't want to accidentally promote a company that's not paying me, right? So I'm, I'm trying to take the label off this bottle. By the way, this is not a blue root beer. Don't, don't be concerned by that. Uh, <laughs> I, don't worry, I'm not, I'm not drinking some weird alien drink or something like that. Um, so I'm trying to take the label off, and, it, and you could just never get a clean rip. I don't, I don't know if it's even possible. To like get a, I bet if I really work really hard on this, but like there's just a ton of glue here. Like you're not, you're not getting that off. It, it's just not happening. Um, this is uh, well I'm not gonna say what it is either, cause they're not paying me either. They won't give me a promo code. Those G bastards. Anyways, uh, it's a brand new day because grinding took 48 minutes. Uh, even with Autonos, it is still just such a fucking drag. Uh, I did record it. I'll probably um, just throw it, like, speed it up, throw some, some music on it, and put it as, like, an unlisted video down in the description. Uh, if anybody wants to check the authenticity of my grinding. But, man, um, Autonos, I swear, they are programmed to get five hits on Double Slap, like, higher than any other Pokemon. It is just ridiculous, and then like the orange berries and the citrus berries when you're already hitting them for very little, it's it's just it it takes a long time. But as you can see, uh, let me let me move these guys up to the. How do I move them to the top? Pretty sure I could do that on my emulator. Am I crazy for thinking? Oh, there we go. We got Victoria up to 23, Jasper up to 23, Paducci up to 23, Dipper to 22, Chewy to 22, and Celery to 23. Uh, Berg's in challenge mode, I believe, is 24, 24, 26. So I figured we would get a little bit more levels through uh, the gym trainers. And I don't think anybody learned anything exciting or, or new as far as moves go. Um, the main strategy is going to be Celery sweeping all the bug types. And then Victoria coming in whenever a level shows up. And everyone else here is just kind of here for the ride. Because I, I don't know what else I would do with them. So... Uh, let's head on over to the gym. Actually, what is my potion uh, status like? We have 15 normal potions, one super potion. Do I have any money? I think I might have spent it all on super repels because I'm a, yeah, I'm a dummy. All right, I not not super repels. I just spent them on all on repels because I was apparently just completely. Uh, against the idea of walking the 10 feet to the garden and having to battle the Pokemon in the sewers. Admittedly, there's a lot of Rattatas there with Pursuit, and I knew, even if I'm, you know, stronger than them, that's just asking for trouble. That is just... If you're walking around knowing that there's Rattatas trying to pursue you everywhere and you're just letting it happen, like, you're... You're asking for trouble at that point, and I, I didn't want to tempt fate. It was just a matter of time. I actually need to make sure I have the right Pokemon out front. Um, I also did not pick up the EXP share because I'm a liar. I'm a dirty, dirty liar. Let me, uh, I'm going to make a note right now um, to remind myself. I don't, okay, here we go. I'll make a note. I'll make a note on this. I'm going to do it right now. Get, oh my god, the, the green ink isn't working. Get XP. 
share? Question mark? Or is it share C H E R like the singer? Or is it share S H A I R like chair? Why isn't it spelt like that? I don't know. Or is it S H E R? I'm pretty sure that's a. Uh, like an, an English translation of an Indian way to spell it, S-H-E-R. I might be wrong about that. I don't know what it means. I just know there's a there's a wrestler who is a uh, who's from India. Or uh, well, he's actually from Canada. But he's he's Indian and um he his theme song is called Share and it's S H E R. I think it translates to Lion or something like that. I don't actually know the translation, unfortunately. I'm making shit up. I don't know why I thought it was Lion of all things. That's that's wild. You know what? I'm gonna Google that. I'm gonna Google that right gosh darn now. We're gonna we're gonna open up Google Translate as we beat up the swaddle. What am I even? What am I going? What am I looking for here? So it would be Hindi, I believe. Hind H H H H Hindi Hindi share. Holy shit! It is lion. Oh. Oh, no way! How did I know that? I have absolutely no idea how I ever would have known that that translates to lion. Oh, oh man! How many languages do I know? I have no idea. I've been, I've been, you know, I, I think I mentioned this in the past. Uh, learning Spanish and, and Japanese in my free time very slowly, just a, a tiny, itty little bit. Uh, but I mean, I've been making flashcards for, uh, Japanese, right? So if anybody ever, well, let me make sure I'm actually showing this to you guys properly. If anybody knows a little bit, a little bit of Japanese, uh, we got, that is the, uh, formal version, the green one. It's like, if you're talking about someone else's, the more honorific version, that is the, uh, if you're talking to like your own bitch. Uh, so it's, Otosan and Ototo, which means younger brother. Uh, I've been making a bunch of flashcards, and I guess I gotta start learning Hindi, because I guess I, I I already know it. What an uh, what an unexpected turn of events with my vast array of unknowing knowledge. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I didn't expect that. Is basically what I'm trying to say. I I must have I must have read it somewhere or known it. I, I, I'm obviously I've seen that translation somewhere in the far reaches of my life and I don't know I don't know but yeah so get exp share 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 we got to get the exp lion is essentially what we're what I'm trying to describe to you guys is there anyone else I could use here I guess I really should just be focusing on celery since he's the one that has to face the Levani. I don't think the Levani could really do anything to me. We should resist grass and bug moves, right? Unless it has, I think it might have like slash, which even then that's only normal. Could get a critical hit, which admittedly would be quite unfortunate. Um, I would be upset if, <laughs> if um, Berg just immediately got a critical hit and like destroyed my poor Pokemon. Um, it's hard to really train with anybody else though, because Nobody else is going to be super effective. Like, Paducci, I don't think, gets any Rock-type moves by level up. Um, Victoria is really just here for the Dwebble. Chewy, obviously, we don't want to face in Grass-type. And Dipper is just not that good yet. <laughs> Dipper is, is... Maybe I'm just not facing the right Pokemon, but Dipper has not been doing very well against the, uh, the Autonos, at least. We're really struggling to kill some of those Autonos, so... Here's hoping that Dipper can get its life together as I, I take a swig of my undefined, unproduct drink because they refuse to sponsor me, apparently. Do you know how many drinks I buy frequently that I should be sponsored by? Admittedly, this is the first time I've bought this mysterious product here. But, like, I've been, I've been, Rain Energy Drinks, right? It's a newer energy drink company, um, comparable to, like, Rockstar and Monster. I... Well, I love one of their flavors. They have a blue Raz flavor. I, I love anything blue raspberry flavor because it's not a real thing. And I like artificial fake things like myself. Um, just kidding. I'm 100% real. Uh, 
uh, this obviously this isn't what the result of plastic surgery would look like. <laughs> I would I would look much better if I had plastic surgery. Um, but they have a a blue raz. I think that's what it's called. Um, is it blue raz or is blue raz the rock star one? Ah, who cares? It's blue raspberry flavored, and it's delicious. I don't really care for any of the other uh, flavors for their their main series of drinks, but a blue raz, I could drink that every day. It is so good. Rain, if you somehow uh, hear this, please. You don't even have to like give me any free drinks or any money. Just say like, hey, thank you. I guess you know that that's all I want out of a sponsorship. I just want to be acknowledged by the companies that I fawn over. That's all I ask about. Like, if, if, I don't know, what other company do I like? Um, if Great Value from Walmart, right? If they could tweet at me, I don't even know if Great Value has a Twitter account, but if Great Value could tweet at me saying, hey, thanks for buying our jugs of water, I'd be like, oh, fuck, that's Bug Bite. That'd be a weird response to that. Oh, okay, it's, it's a combi. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm afraid of. That's a good mystery flavor. Oddly enough, this one isn't... Actually, I think this is blue raspberry. It's funny, I, I keep talking about that. All I want in life is blue raspberry. It's just, it's the source of all good in the world. Um, but yeah, if Great Value could ever tweet at me just being like, Hey, thanks for buying all our water. I'd be like, no problem. No problem. I got you. Um, and then we'd be bros and we'd hang out. And we'd probably like you know tell each other that we look really cute in our dresses but like totally like not in like a sexual way but then we just kind of like wink at each other like you know <laughs> like it's very very subtle flirting between me and and the great value twitter account apparently um i don't why well, healed the wrong pokemon i don't give a fuck about healing chewy you're not coming out in this gym battle are you i don't think you would come out in this gym battle i mean Ice is super effective against grass. I don't think Levanti would have Exazer, even in challenge mode, right? But Bug Bite is still 60 base power, so... I know Kobe doesn't do very much. Oh, that's a Dwebble. I knew one of you was going to have a Dwebble eventually. Uh... Yeah... Bug resi I think Bug resists ground, otherwise, um... Paducci might not be the worst choice there because we could uh, he has bone meringue which I mean it's a move it attacks that's about the best thing I could say about it how much is okay this is a good good barometer water gun is a one hit if they don't have sturdy I mean birds is more than likely gonna have sturdy I'll be very surprised if it didn't but that's a it's not horrible um, unfortunately Roselia still only has Poison Sting. I was hoping Roselia would have learned a better Poison move right now because that would also be a pretty decent backup. I mean, we still got that. I think we still have the Bug Weakness, but I'm sorry. Allergy season is coming in, and my nose ain't ha fucking having it, let me tell you. I don't have any allergy. Actually, I might have some allergy medication. I'll have to look into that. Um, but I've had a, a runny nose all day. I am definitely a spring allergy boy. And we are getting very close to spring, so yip de doo that's my life now. Um, Alright, let's give Vittoria Potion, and it looks like it's time to take on our third gym here. And this is pretty quick pace. This is only the, what, sixth episode? We've been averaging a, averaging a gym every other episode. I don't think we'll be keeping that pace throughout the entire series, but if we did, this is only going to be like an 18 episode series, so that's pretty wild. Ah, Berg. Are we ready? I don't remember if he leads with Dwebble. I think he leads with Swadloon. I think it's Swadloon, Dwebble, Levani. Now we could switch. We could switch. I don't think a Dwebble is really going to do that much, Victoria, anyways. So the question is, can our level 24 Farfetch stand up to a level 26 Levani? I think we'll be alright. I don't... I think if, um, out of all the gyms in the game... I can't believe Farfetch'd is the Pokemon that's, like, guaranteeing us victory. If we didn't hatch Farfetch'd, if we had, like, Tauros, or if something happened to Farfetch'd, this would be a terrifying gym. I would be so scared of this. Farfetch'd, of all things, is... Son of a bitch, that's a Dwebble. Farfetch'd, of all things, is what's potentially leading us to victory right now, which is absolutely wild to think about, that Farfetch'd, of all things, I'm so proud of him, and also just, like, 
you know what? We're getting the use out of him right now. Right off the bat, as soon as I hatched Farfetch'd at the beginning of the series, someone said, this is actually the best time to have Farfetch because he's basically crap in the later half of the game. Um, so you know what? We got a Farfetch'd at a really good time. He's getting all of the use he possibly can before he eventually, um, you know, gets tossed aside. Ooh, what do you have? All right, that should still kill. I think another water gun kills. Ooh. And I don't think we can... I don't remember what Farfetch's signature item is, but I don't know if we could even get it in this game, because I think it raises, what, his critical hit ratio, which is actually probably ridiculously good with Slash. Ooh, would that make Slash, like, three times more likely to crit? Swords Dance! Dude! That's way better than Work Up. Do we have a secret sweeper on our hands now? Hold, hold the telephone. I mean, we're not going to need it in this fight, I hope, but... Sword Stance. You know what? This bogey wasn't taken too kindly to me saying that he won't be useful very, very much longer. He just pulled out the Galarian Sword. Holy crap. Are we supposed to be uh, pretty scared of this thing now? All right. That was an unexpected twist. Because I don't think I have any awakenings. What do you do? Are you poison? You're poison. Well, guess we're waiting this one out. <laughs> Aerial Ace! Alright! Alright, you, um... <sighs> All right. <laughs> two turns of sleep. That's two. We can start waking up now. Okay. It would be wonderful if you could wake up and show him what a real aerial ace looks like. That was my only super potion. Oh no! That was my only. I forgot to go back. I, I plan on going back and buying more after the gym trainers. And this is bad, because Aerial Ace is doing 23 damage. Alright, let's think this one through here. Uh, <laughs> Okay, we're going to heal as I try to think. I don't know if there's a single thing I can do. I'm just doing more doing more damage. Oh my god. Okay. What can wall? That's an interesting question. What is your defense? 32? 38? Oh my god. I did not expect your defense to be so high. 48? It's a shame it's a grass type. 47. It's a shame it's a grass type. <laughs> oh, oh man. Oh, this is bad. I can't out push. I can't out potion aerial ace. And I'm in dying range now. It will kill me. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> what, what do you have? You have Thunder Wave. We could try to... Um, we could try to paralyze it. We can't Leech Seed, unfortunately. Does Poison resist Grass? Oh my gosh. I don't... Or Poison resist Bug? I don't think it does. I would be shocked if poison resists bug because that just doesn't make sense but you gotta check right oh my god poison resist bug but it doesn't resist flying aerial ace I, I can't even consider jasper son of a bitch i am completely fucked by the lack of super potions all right dipper I would like you to survive. That would be great. 
This should be resisted. Very little damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Nice, bow. And while we heal, we could potentially get static. Which, I guess, would be helpful. Um, not my highest priority right now. <laughs> Razor Leaf, that's a high crit chance. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't- ah. You know what? Razor Leaf wouldn't cause static. But! But! Razor Leaf is gonna do very little to Celery. It should only- oh my gosh. Don't- don't mind trick me here and go for Aerialis. Struggle bug? That's not what I expected you to have. Okay. What, my special attack? I don't give a fuck about that. Potion? We got potion first. Because it could be a crit. So, I don't know if the sleep counter resets. So this should still be turn three. In my heart, this is still turn three. Oh my god. Please wake up. Please wake up. You dick! You fucking dick! What? Oh. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! <sighs> oh my god. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay, who's... Who is just the least useful? We got a ground gym coming up, so I gotta... I think it's Jasper. I think if I had to... I don't even know necessarily what I'm doing here. Like, what is my strategy? I don't know. I didn't think this through at all. Poison point? Do we have poison point? Mm, I was really hoping we had poison point. I think I needed a safe switch in. I guess. Alright. If we can live a move, we can lower its speed. And we got snow warning. So, that's also good. Let's try lowering its speed. Oh! <gasps> What? Why would you go for Grass Whistle? Oh my god, wait, do I heal or do I just keep attacking? Do I heal or do I just keep attacking? Uh, uh, I think I can't, I can't risk waking up. I gotta keep attacking. Oh, you bitch! Oh, you were just playing with my heart! Okay, it's minus two speed. No! No! We might be faster now. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. Alright, so we got uh, we got hail up. It's minus two speed. I don't even know what my strategy would be. I'll resist. I mean, I have headbutt. Headbutt wouldn't kill. Nothing would kill. Aerial Ace would not kill. Uh, it eventually would, though. Aerial Ace is doing like 23, so I would live with like 4 if it's not a crit. Okay, so I could keep waiting. Oh my god, but I can't let him get into healing range. If he gets it, all right. Gotta think this one through here. Get. <sighs> if we go for clamp, it should be resisted. It shouldn't do that much, but it would trap him into clamp. That plus hail might be enough for 
headbutt to kill. Oh my god, it's still faster! How fast are you? I mean, I know we're a clamshell, so I'm, I'm asking a lot there. Okay. For the love of god, headbutt. Just kill it. Just, just kill it. Please. <laughs> just... It's still faster! What? How fast are you? No! Panucci! Fucking Panucci! That's all that did? That's all Headbutt did? Oh no! Okay, all right, we got a potion. We got a we got a potion celery. We we got a okay, we got a potion celery, and hope that the sleep counter doesn't reset when you switch out, Paducci. I'm sorry, we gotta try surviving this. This will be the fourth turn of sleep if that is how it works. I don't think it resets. Why well, can't Razor Leaf miss? Oh my God. Okay, all right. We got. I think we could have two Aerial Aces. So which means if it doesn't reset, that would be the fifth turn. Oh my god. Is this... It has to be now. If it... it this has... This is the fifth turn. If it doesn't reset, this is the fifth turn. What the fuck do you want from me? I can't believe it resets when you switch out. I have no fucking idea that it reset when you switch out. I did <sighs> Motherfucker! Just, just end my ass. I can't, but fucking 55% grass whistle. That's my fault. I talk shit on the fucking gym being a piece of cake because it absolutely should have been. That should have been a flawless fucking gym. And it wasn't because of Grass Whistle. I want, okay, I want to check. Is that something he only has in challenge mode? Because if it is, fuck all you people who told me to play challenge mode. Not seriously, I love you guys, but. Um, oh my gosh, my heart will be broken. Alright, so normally... Oh my god. So normal one, he has Razor Leaf, Cut, String Shot, and Struggle Bug. Challenge mode is Grass Whistle, Aerial Ace, Razor Leaf, and Struggle Bug. Grass Whistle and Aerial Ace, the two moves that completely fucked me over. Oh, unbelievable. Holy crap. And there was still a Shellmint and a Carablast, so... I mean, I don't think those would have been a problem if we could have, you know, survived. We would have, should have outsped both of them and, and got the Aerial Ace, but... Fucking Grass Whistle. Fifth, I'm pretty sure that's a 55 accuracy move. 55 accuracy. Unbelievable. Well, time to see if Tauros can sweep the gym. Fuck.